It's a shame for Baines because he was just starting to get going. He had a relatively stoic. Oh, oh my goodness! Welcome back to the league, Magne! And the missed shot set up perfectly for him, like beautiful. Good contest here earlier. as the feeling out process continues. McVeigh, we've got past Hogue. Nice dish inside Magne with the finishing touches. At full speed, he's having a look at this nice little drop off from Jack McVeigh. Just the two points of him so far. Jet wanted to find him. And now Magne with a spin move on Johnson. Gets a chance for a three point play. Jack Jump is in possession. Doyle. The lob and the finish. That's magnificent. Oh. Steindl and Magnate. Oh, you can't stand still. Here is the Amy replay. Kick ahead from Milton Doyle. Clint Steindl just throws it up. Will Magnate will go finish it. But that offensive possession before Sam Froling tried to make something happen. Steindl trying to find his best basketball. Magnate wanting to be aggressive. That's a strong move on Pardon. Great take. It was only a couple of weeks ago that these two teams played. Now famous last quarter for the Jack Jumpers. Oh. McVeigh upstairs for Magne. He's going to have to play more minutes than that due to the fact that we might not see Ice back out here. But Doyle gets his first two of the game. Is oh! Oh, boy. He's got the physicality. Have a look at this. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what, that is just disgusting. <laughs> Easy turnovers just like that. Just because they're young doesn't give them a pass to get sloppy turnovers. Yeah. Close range, Magne puts a lid on it and drew a foul as well, so a chance at a three-point play. At the top for Milton Doyle. He's, he's starting to just... I hope you come in with an eye patch on tonight. Kelly, this little drop-off for Magne. Rashad Kelly in the starting lineup. Straight up, principal of verticality, no foul as Mitch comes down and lets one fly. But the Jack Jumpers have increased the tempo on defense and forced their first turnover. Now look what's happening. It's one thing to use the ball in the half court, but you've got to be, but you still have to be aggressive and attacking, and that's a better example. Just swinging it around the horn and getting some nice, pretty passes. First versus fourth. Sydney Kings still on top of the table. They're coming off two straight losses. Magno foul! And one play. They were very rowdy at the best of times, but right now, you can sense that they understand the urgency. And the defense not really at a high level, but they can't afford that today. Too, too big a game to give these kind of easy opportunities at the rim on a regular basis. It was great. As we go courtside to Matt Russell. Gee, Jacob Jacomas is an easing to the line in terms of the finishing post for the season. He just ripped into his team 